I will give you an overview of open science and open access and open data because the use of open data and open access are integrated elements of the open science. Now we are like an astronaut on Mars and we are all engaged to explore key aspects and challenges of the currently transforming science landscape. Open science describes the ongoing evolution in the modus operandi of doing research and organized science. This evolution is enabled by big data and digital technology and is driven by both the globalization of scientific community and increasing public demand to address the societal challenges of our time. Open science has a logically consequence the ongoing transition in the way research is performed, researchers collaborate, knowledge is shared and science is organized. Open science has an impact on the entire life cycle of research from the starting point of research to its publication and on how this cycle is organized. Thus, open science means openness of research data, methods, results and publication. So, to develop open science, there is a need to focus on open data, open access, and research integrity. So, uh, the trends toward open access are redefining the framework condition, um, the framework condition for science, and does have an impact on how open innovation is produced by encouraging a more dynamic circulation of knowledge. The European Commission's policies on open science aims to strengthen knowledge circulation since open science is a practice about sharing knowledge as early as possible in the discovery process. Open science is one of the three priority <coughs> areas of further res European research, science and innovation policy. The policy has been presented by 2000 by Carlos Medas, Commissioner for Research, Science and Innovation in Brussels, in a speech titled A New Start for Europe, opening up to an era of innovation at the conference on open innovation, open science, open to the world. Openness will define our century, Commissioner Carlos Moeda says, because openness is the basic principle in science, but supported by digital innovation, it can enable an increase of scientific production, a remote collaboration of scientists with the use of the web and more promising startups to emerge thanks to the exploitation of openly accessible research results. Open science depends on open mind, said in the video Nelly Crows, the former European Commissioner, because however open science doesn't mean free science. It is essential to ensure that intellectual property is protected before making knowledge publicly available in order to attract investment that can help translate research results into innovation. If this is taken into account, fewer and wider access to scientific publication and sharing information will enable networking for the key to approach our future in research needs. The Open Science Monitor is an initiative of the European Commission to keep up to date with progress in open science and, and this office, this project elaborated the will to explore open science characteristics and indicators where you can see that indicators are both for open access to publication and open scholarly communication. So science carried out and communicated in a manner which allows others to contribute, collaborate and add to the research effort with all kinds of data, results and protocols made freely available at different stages of the research progress is the definition of research information network in UK and uh, this definition captures the systemic change to the way science and research have been carried out for the last 50 years, shifting from the standard practice of publishing research results in scientific publish publication towards sharing and using all available knowledge at an earlier stage in the research process. So open science is more than open access publishing. As you can see in the diagram um, on, of Andreas Newhold, it includes open data, open source, that means sharing code and tools to allow others to reproduce work and <coughs> and open methods for documenting and sharing workflows and methods and using web-based tools to facilitate collaboration and interaction from the outside world. 
scientist, citizen, publisher, research institution, public and private research founders, students and education professionals, as well as com companies from around the globe are sharing an open virtual environment. So research has a long history in Europe. Over the recent decades, it has gradually acquired the sense of collaboration between European countries, linking first their research activities, then their policy in the field. The very fir first Europe-wide framework program for research was launched 30 years ago to bring together expertise from across the European community, as it was then known, and make Europe more competitive in key technologies. European research funding evolved from a separate programs to become a major component of the research and innovation landscape in Europe. Their objective has also evolved from supporting cross-border co collaboration in research and technology to now encouraging a European coordination of activities and policies. The reason for this is simple. Research, technology and innovation are at the core of Europe's economy and are vital for a successful society. So today, Horizon 2020, the Aid Framework Program is the biggest and most ambitious with a budget of 80 billion euros. So now the Commission plans to create a new European Open Science Cloud that will offer Europe's researchers a virtual environment to store, share and reuse their data across disciplines and borders by integrating and consolidating e-infrastructure platform, federating existing scientific clouds and research infrastructure and supporting the development of cloud-based services. This will be supported by European data infrastructure, deploying the high bandwidth networks, large scale of storage facilities, and supercomputer capacity necessary to effectively access and process large data sets stored in the cloud. Focusing initially to the, uh, on the scientific community, the user will be enlarged to the public sector and to industry. This initiative is part of a package measure to strengthen Europe's position in data-driving innovation to improve competitiveness and cohesion and to help create a digital single market in Europe. The European Cloud Initiative will unlock the value of big data by providing world-class supercomputing capability, high-speed connectivity and leading hedge data and software services for science in industry by 2020. This initiative will make science more efficient and productive and let millions of researchers share and analyze research data in a trusted environment across technologies, disciplines and borders. The European Cloud Initiative will make it easier for researchers and innovators to access and reuse data and will reduce the cost of data storage and high performance analysis. So now we approach the, um, the concept of open data and open, open access. So the, the open uh, definition sets out principles that define openness in relation to data and content. Open means anyone can freely access, use, use modify and share for any purpose. And uh, the principles that were identified by the Open, Fund, Open Access Foundation is about, uh, the first principle is about availability and access. So data must be available as a wall and no more than a reasonable reproduction cost, preferably by downloading over the web. The data must also be available in a convenient and modified form. The second principle is about reuse and redistribution. Data must be provided under, under terms that permit reuse and redistribution, including the intermixing with other data sets. The data must be also machine readable. Then we have a principle on universal participation. Anyone can, anyone must be able to use, reuse and redistribute. There is a the data and uh, uh, with no discrimination against fiends of endeavor or against personal growth. For example, non-commercial restriction that would prevent commercial use or restriction of use for center purpose, for example, education, are not allowed. So what kinds of open data are the most diffused? 
there are many kinds, and you can see a little picture where uh, there are data about uh, culture heritage, so uh, data about cultural works and artifacts, of course data from science, data that are produced as a part of, of scientific research, finance, statistics, weather, environment. So you can see also here the most adopted licenses for open data because explicit dedication of data underlying pub published science into the public domain using uh, a CC0 for example license uh, is strongly recommended and ensures a compliance with both the science common protocol for implementing open access and open data and the open knowledge data definition. So the license of uh, Tichi Bai because data must credit whoever has published or generated the data and copies or adaptation of data must be released similarly as open data and so the, uh, the licenses with the share alike. But uh, making data available is not sufficient, so now um, data should be available and fair according to the initiative developed by Force uh, 11 and now adopted also uh, by the European Commission. So data must be findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. So how to make open data? Oh, uh, you can follow the guideline of the Open Knowledge Foundation that helps you in the process. So the first step is to choose your data set. What can you may open? You may need also to revisit this step if you encounter problems later. They recommend that you ask the community in the first instance. So that is the people who will be accessing and using the data as they are likely to have a good understanding of which data could be valuable. So then you apply a, a, a license, a suitable license, like for example a CC BY. Even in places where the existence of rights is uncertain, it is important to apply a license simply for the sake of clarity. Then you make data available. You provide the data in a suitable format. You use relevant metadata standard and you use repositories. Open data needs to be technically open as well as legally open. Specifically, the data needs to be available online, also in a bulk machine readable format. To make sure that data can be understood by their community and others, researchers should create metadata and documentation. Metadata is basic descriptive information to help identify and understand the structure of the data. Also, documentation provides a wide context. It's useful to share the methodology and the workflow software and any information needed to understand the data, such as, for example, explanation of abbreviation. So the, the, the last step is to make it discoverable. There are a lot of standards that can be used and Partenos started the catalog of disciplinary metadata standards and a standard survivor kit to support the researcher. Also, it's important to take uh, in consideration the use of appropriate file formats if you want uh, your data to be reused and sustainable in the long term. And so you will use open or non-proprietary format. So, uh, in a short review of what is open access. Open access means free and online access to scholarly literature free of charge and free of the most copyright and licensing restriction that can be freely disseminated further with proper author attribution. What makes it possible is the web and the consent of the author or copyright holder. Internet has provided an alternative means of peer review, publication and distribution and the online scholarly communication advances the science without lose time. So there are two main roads to open access, the self-archive, also so-called the green open access, the outdoor archives, the published article or the final peer review manuscript in an online repository uh, before or after the publication and some publisher requests that open open access be granted only after an embargo period has elapsed. And then the open access publishing known as gold open access. An article is immediately published in open access mode. In this model the payment of publication costs is shifted away from the subscribing readers. The most common business model is based on one-off payments by author. 
this cost, often referred to as article processing charges, are usually borne by the researchers in university or research institutes or the agency funding the research. In other cases, the cost of open access publishing are covered by subsidies or other funding models. So, open access, open, is a win-win model because the benefits are, are many. Researchers can access relevant literature not behind paywalls. It ensures research is transparent and reproducible, increases visibility, usage and impact of research work, foster new collaboration and research partnership, and ensure a long-term access to research outputs, help increase the efficiency of research and certain research community have also seen the benefit of sharing data as it speed up the process of discovery. Researcher in the field, for example, in the medicine field, uh, research have agreed as a community to share data immediately to make scientific backthroats. Back there is also a citation advantage for individual researchers. It's now clear that shared data received 10% more citation. Articles freely available online are more highly cited. cited. So here you can see some nice picture about the advantage of opening success. And if you want to learn more and have a look also to <laughs> statistics and information of opening up research, you go and you have a look to wineopenresearch.org from the Shuttleworth Foundation. So as a founder, European Commission is uh, publishing to open data. The updated guidelines explain why it's crucial having open access to publication and data in Horizon 2020. Because build on previous research results is improving quality of results, encour encourage the collaboration and avoid duplication of efforts for a greater efficiency in research, speed up innovation because it faster progress and to market means also a faster growth and involve citizens and society for improving transparency of the scientific process. But there is also another consideration made by European Commission as a founder. The vision is that the information already paid by the public Push should not be paid for a gain time it is accessed or used and that it should benefit European companies and citizens to the full. So the, in the guidelines, uh, there are, are also uh, instructions um, about what to deposit, where and when should open access should be provided. So openness is a challenge for Europe. Carlos Medas, uh, the European Commission, launched the challenges for, Euro for Europe research. We need more open access to research results and the underlying data. Open access publication is already a requirement under um, Horizon 2020, but we now need to look seriously at open data. Let's dare to make Europe open to innovation, open to science, open to the world. And we can keep this conclusion, uh, we can keep this as conclusion of this presentation because most of data today is locked in literature, is locked in paper, and we have to unlock this data. So in this, in this book that is uh, freely downloadable, um, Open Innovation, Open Science, Open to the World, you can have more elements about the vision for uh, this vision of Europe. So, thank you. <laughs>